the back of the book segment tonight, the presidential election this year will be decided on how Americans see the war on terror and how we think it should be fought. Joining us now from Los Angeles is Sam Harris, the author of the new book, The End of Faith, Religion, Terror, and the Future of Reason. So what's the, what's the most provocative thesis in this book? Oh, well, the issue for me, Bill, with respect to the war on terror is that we really have a deal breaker with Islam, and we're not talking about it. Uh, it's due to political correctness, political correctness that could well get many of us killed. We are not acknowledging that at the core of mainstream Islam, there's this belief in martyrdom and jihad, which no one is criticizing. You're not hearing moderate Muslims come out against this. And it really is a deal breaker because it, it and nothing else explains the kind of violence we see Muslims practicing. It explains why a guy can drive a car into a crowd of children, blow them up, blow himself up, and feel that this is a win for his cause. Okay, but we have always had on this earth crazy extremists in every religion. You know, even in, I'm a Roman Catholic, and you had the Inquisition. And, and we've always had it. In the uh, Third Reich, you had regular German people signing off on slaughtering Jews. Right. I mean, we've always had this. How do you deal with it? And I don't, I, see, I don't necessarily agree that, that most people who are Muslim agree with blowing up children. I don't think they do. Am I wrong? Right, well, that's not precisely the claim I'm making. The problem is we frankly don't know what percentage of the Muslim world is in support of the, the worldview of Osama bin Laden. There's been some polling data on this, uh, on, the, on the specific question of suicide bombing, and quite frankly, the results are not encouraging. But, but the, the question you ask, which is a, a very good one, the, the issue really is unjustified belief. We're paying a terrible price for allowing people to be motivated by beliefs that, that because they're religious beliefs, it's taboo to criticize them. I got it. I got it. I, I understand that you're not going to get politicians say, look, we're fighting Islam. They're never going to say that. But I don't think I'd say it either for two reasons. Number one, I don't know what good it does other than to tee off uh, Muslims around the world who may not be violent and make them hate us more. And number two, you know, I look at countries like uh, the United Arab Emirates, for example. Right. Moderate country, helps America. No problems there. And I can't say that Islam is bad across the board. Yeah, well, I'm not, to say that we're at war with Islam is quite distinct from saying that we're at war with all Muslims. But we have to realize we have a, a choice between conversation or war. Well, we either have to win a war of ideas with the Muslim world, or we're going to fight some very terrible wars in the future. And we are not prosecuting this war of ideas. We're, and we're, we're certainly not going But how do you do that? I mean, if you, it, look, nobody could deny that this war is being generated by Muslim fanatics. I call them right. Islama fascists. No one Actually, deny. people do deny that, though, Bill. Well, you you nobody, understand that nobody people Nobody who we deny take that. seriously. Nobody who's clear thinking. Nobody we take seriously. So that's the fact. But you're not going to persuade those people because by their very nature they're nuts they're crazy they're and actually not crazy that, that, that's oh, what anybody who things would I'm kill themselves to think they're going to get 72 virgins um, you know I gotta say is insane it's actually no crazier though than believing that a a cracker literally turns into the body of Jesus it has it has terrible behavioral outcomes but it is equally unsupported by evidence and no, so but, no, no, we no, have no. to deal I, with well, this. I have to challenge you there a cracker mm -hmm that people believe is the embodiment of Jesus hurts no one. It's a, it's a matter of faith and it is a positive thing for those who believe it in the sense that they try to love their neighbor as themselves. These Great. people it are going out killing babies. He's killing babies, all right, and thinking they're going to get rewarded for killing the baby with 72 virgins. There's right. a big difference in that kind of faith. There's a very big difference in the outcome. What I'm disputing in my book is that there's no difference at the level of rationality. And we really have to get to the core issue here because our situation is much more sinister than, than I think you're letting on in, the, in this moment. We, it is possible to get a scientific education, to really be so well educated that you can build a nuclear bomb, and yet it's still possible to believe that you're going to get 72 virgins in the afterlife because we never explicitly criticize these kinds of beliefs in our culture. Yeah, but I don't know if criticizing those beliefs in our culture are going to you know, make those fanatics change one iota, probably make them hate us more. Mr. Harris, very provocative book, and we appreciate it. The book is The End of Faith. And next we will wrap the